Alrighty guys, we've got a damn good show for you today. Big surprise, hang tight, we'll be right back. Guys, we're down here on the Tennessee River. We got the catfish dude, Mr. Steve Douglas. It's foggy. A little cold front come in yesterday. We're down here in probably 60 foot of water. We've marked some good flatheads. We got some good fresh skipjack Steve caught yesterday. And all I'm gonna do is videotape that. Let's see if we can't put a fish in a boat. Hang tight, guys. We're gonna put some baits out this morning. You guys make sure you, I'm going to put the link right here, monsterrodholders.com. If you're looking for some rod holders for your boat, check the rod holders out. Give Steve a call or shoot him an email. If you got some questions about what kind of rod holders you want on your boat, how you want your boat set up, be glad to help you. Or you can email me or give me a call. You guys, you get out here on the water and it's foggy, make sure you're careful. Be on the lookout for other boats. Everybody's got to be kind of a team member. I always tell my clients everybody's watching. That's right. Safety first. Go home safe. All right, guys, we're sitting here waiting on a bite. We talked, me and Steve talked on the way down this morning a little bit about your 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 fish finders. Steve's a Lawrence man, as you can see here. I'm a Navionics man. You can see here we got a little school of fish coming up here. It's probably some stripers, could be white bass. Um, but we were talking about how important your Navionics, uh, your your electronics is part of your fishing game. And to me, it's my most important piece of my equipment. Because yeah. uh, I want to know where I'm going, what I'm looking for, and really your 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 uh, your GPS map, which I use Lake Master. What do you got, Navionics? Navionics. Yeah, either one's great, but I like Lake Master because I'm sponsored by Hummingbird, but Really, that's your most important thing because you're looking for ambush points, you're looking for little underwater points, you're looking for stair steps, you're looking for steps on from deep water up to shallow water flats. Those are the kind of things you're looking for. And uh, so make sure you get you a good Navionics card. I think Lake Master's got the new 5.0 out. I'll put Hummingbird's link right here. You can check it out. But really spend some time studying your GPS. Get set up on these ambush points. These big fish do not like to move. So they're going to pick out the best ambush points, particularly flatheads, because they're territorial, and they're going to sit there and wait for the bait to come to them. Um, so find you those good little stair steps, those ambush points, set up on them. Yeah, the, uh, map, the mapping is going to be your key. Oh to, yeah. To finding finding yeah. the fish. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm like Steve. I like to see the fish on the fish on the 2D too. Know they're there, but yeah, that's the first thing. Is 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 I could successfully catch, and I know you can because I've seen you do it on your videos. I can successfully catch fish without even a 2D sonar, just a, a GPS. So, um, but get set up. We're set up in a real good spot here. Uh, we're close to a ledge. There's some good rocky boulders. Um, we're just waiting on them to bite. The dam below us is running about 20,000 right now. Uh, most of the dams through here, I don't know about Kentucky, but you can go to TVA.com, lake levels here. Let's check your generation schedule. What about if they're up in Kentucky? How do you check the lake levels there at those dams? You know, to be honest with you, I never check lake levels. You just got to fish. Well, well, if fish, Steve goes out, he's going to fish. You got to fish. But yeah, down here you can check the lake levels. Uh, uh, I mean, it's good to know what what currents going average. Generally, when I get there, I, I can figure it out. What, what yeah, I like to know what currents because you know, am I going to be anchor fishing? Am I going to be spot locking? Am I going to be drifting, dragging? Uh, we're fishing today below Fort Loudon, so Fort Loudon's running about thirty thousand. I got the floodgates open, which is great. So got good current. Watch bar down below us is running about twenty, but they're going to kick it in probably here at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock to about 40,000, which will really stir the bottom up. So it should stir the bottom up too. So um, just got to hang tight. It's a full moon right now. That's another thing that we're fighting fighting against. So the, the real early morning bite's not been good, but you're on the water fishing, man. you got to enjoy your life. Yeah. Guys, hang tight. We're going we're gonna to hang out here and see if we can put a fish in the boat. What you got going on out there, Steve? He ain't committed yet, so. It's a blue running with it, though. He's heading up river with it. A lot of times you can't tell if this could be a big fish and not know it. You 
see this like this is what you need to be doing. There you go. Even. Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. He hammered oh, it he's hard. Got, he's got it. Yeah, he's yeah, got he's it. On. I just had to catch up with yeah, it. Yeah, he's running with it. Blue. Nice little blue. I think you're on this line back here, ain't you? Probably. Yes, I don't think so. Yeah, probably. He run with it again. Mm -hmm. That's the sneaky little guys that run. Oh, yeah. Get tangled all up in the other line. Which one did I tell you to catch fish on? This one here. <laughs> swam down and decided to go up river and took my other bait with it. Yeah. He acted like a blue the whole time, didn't he? Yep. Yeah, blue, them flatheads hardly ever will pick that bait up and run with it like that. Yeah. Good hook set. Yeah. 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 That's what you call wooden getting off. Nice old flathead. First fish of the day. Yeah. I love them flatheads. Yeah. No matter what size they are, they're just a good looking fish, I think. Yeah. Mean looking fish. Good healthy fish. Yep. Not covered in a lot of mud. That fish has been moving around a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Yeah. We're going to get him back in the water. There you go, guys. you got to be patient when you're sitting on these, these uh, deep water fish. Yep. <clears throat> We've been here probably... 15 minutes. Normally it's not that quick, but we're going to get this unknotted and get back in the game. You guys make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to put a link to Steve's uh, YouTube channel here. Also down in the description. Make sure you guys check out his channel, the ones I hadn't checked out. I mean, Steve's been in the YouTube business a whole lot longer than I have. But I also put a link in the description. We're gonna sling them both back out. <clears throat> We're gonna regroup and get back in the game. I'm gonna get out of the way so you don't get me. You guys hang tight. Alrighty guys, we just put a nice flathead in the boat. Steve's cut up some fresh skipjack he caught last night. He's gonna tell us a little bit about how he hooks his bait up and what rig we're using here uh, to catch these fish on. Well, with me, I'm a simple fisherman. Uh, I just want, I like this Carolina rig. When I'm anchoring up, I just want a Carolina rig. I've got uh, a nine knot offset circle hook. It's a 50 pound mono uh, with an eight ounce sinker. Now you can use a lighter sinker uh, like you suggested with flatheads, and I normally do, but like I say, I'm a lazy fisherman, don't feel like changing my weight out. So uh, the bait I'm using is just a, a real simple cut, you cut the gut pocket out of it. Now one thing I will tell your, your, your guys that are watching this, when you cut this bait, cut it straight. If you want, if you go and cut it like this at an angle, it looks good, looks cool, but it's going to create that uh, helicopter effect as it's going down. It's going to twist your line all up. So keep this straight and you won't have that problem. And I'm just going to hook it in the back. Straight in the middle. Again, don't the, the middle is in, important. If we was to 
hook this up here like this, then again, it's going to want to twist and turn. That's just the way I like to do it. I hook it in the middle, make sure there's not a scale on the tip of the hook, and you're ready to sling it out there. Alrighty guys, good basic simple setup, but effective setup. We've got some lines back in the water, we're going to sit here a little while and fish a little bit. And I don't know what, Steve, Steve, you're going to, you're going to fish here some more today? You're going to go head on south? We're probably going to head on south and get down on Nickajack, yeah. a little down there. Awesome. Good flathead fishing on Nicka Jack. Good fly, uh, blue fishing too. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're just easing down the Tennessee River. That's all you can do, buddy. We've been uh, trying to get together and fish for a while. And yeah. We had an opportunity. I Today. made it. We made it happen. Glad to be on the boat, guys. Beautiful morning now. It was foggy first thing, but it's turned off pretty. So, we've got one flathead in the boat. We like to say we're on a full moon bite, so the day bite is going to be kind of slow. But we're fishing. That's what matters. Yep. <laughs> Guys, hang tight. Yeah, he's still doing something sit there. We got a little blue right here. There he is. Oh, he's trying to load it up. He just... He might be on it. might be a smaller fish. Well, I'd have bet that last one was blue. <laughs> yeah, this has got the blue head shape. Yeah. Guys, the bite's been slow today, but we've had a good time. Shared some good techniques. Main thing on fishing trips, if you can learn one thing, it's worth the whole trip. And anytime you get around Steve Douglas, you're going to learn something. One little thing may change the way you fish. Anything? Bluebirds, bluebird skies, you just gotta wait them out. Yeah, I like eating them up though. I don't like Yeah, you wanna try to burp them fish if all possible. Hey Steve, you, you 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 bet that was a blue too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have. Yeah, I would have. You just said, I've Scott, I bet you it's a flathead. I'd have took you that bet. Yeah, another nice little flathead. That looks like the same one we caught long ago. No, that was a little bit browner color. Yeah. yeah. Another nice little flathead. Yeah. About the same size. Yeah, about the same size. Little teenager. So he's not been moving a little bit though. Show him what we're talking about there, Steve, when you say covered in mud. See this fish here? He land, he land right on the bottom, not feeding. He probably got wind of that bait and he just slowly moved up there. Yeah. And I, I hate to say this, but we're going to. If you're going to eat a flathead, this is the size yeah. to eat right here. Nice little flathead, what, yep. six, seven pounds? Mm hmm. Yeah. That's the one to eat. Yeah. But we're going to return him back to where he come from and let him grow. That's right. Uh -huh. I ate my fish at Moby Dick. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. We've had a good morning. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions about 
our techniques, monster rod holders. I'll put Steve's contact information in here. Also our information if you want to book a trip. But we're going to get another bait out. We're going to stay here a little while, and then Steve's going to head on down to Nickajack. We want to say thank you for letting us on your boat. We're going to get off here, you guys. Tight lines. Boom.